afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV Current. I am Moriri Rabila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. Idil Fitil, FG declares Friday, Monday, public holidays. Allocation drops as FG states LG's share 715 billion naira. FEC OK's amendment of labor laws separator. Tension in Biosa community after double murder over 50 naira. And on spot, drug by walls of cement against PSG move. Now the news in detail. The federal government has declared Friday, April 21st and Monday, April 24th as public holidays. This is to mark this year's Eid al-Fitr celebration. The Minister of Interior, Obeni Rahouf Arek Beshola, announced this on behalf of the government. In a statement signed by the Ministry Permanent Secretary, Dr. Shuhab Balgori, Arek Beshola congratulated Muslims for completing the holy month of Ramadan. He called on them to imbibe the virtues of kindness, law, tolerance, peace, self-denial, sacrifice, and good neighborliness as exemplified by Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Going on to the next story, the Federation Allocation Committee says it shared 714.63 billion naira among the three tiers of government in March 2023. The figure represents a decrease of 8.05 billion naira compared to the 722.683 billion naira shared in February 2023. FAAC disclosed these in a communique issued at the end of its latest meeting in Abuja on Wednesday. The total amount includes gross statutory revenue, value added tax, and electronic money transfer levies. The federal government received 276.414 billion naira, the state received 232.13 billion naira, and the local government councils received. 171.26 billion naira, while the oil producing states received 35.1 billion naira as the revision 13% of mineral revenue. It was also noted that the gross revenue available from the value added tax for the month of March 2023 was 218.79 billion naira, with the cost of collection taken at 8.71 billion naira, and the rest was shared among the federal government, states, and local government councils. And to the next story, the Federal Executive Council, FEC, on Wednesday approved the amendment of Nigerian labor laws to bring them to the standard of international laws and statutes. The approval followed two memorandum presented by the Council by the Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ingege, who noted that the labor laws of the country as presently being operated are obsolete laws. Briefing correspondence after the Council meeting presided over by the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo at the Presidential Villa Abuja. Ingege explained that the International Labour Organization, ILO, had pointed out that Nigeria needed to bring its laws to be concurrent with the international labour standards and the conventions and principles at work. He gave a history of the effort to achieve it, saying, We, we had to do this, it is a long journey. We started in 2001 by a previous administration, and at a point, the bills were sent to the National Assembly for enactment into law. In 2007-2008, only one came out after the five bills. Going on to Bielsa states, a rider of a commercial tricycle popularly known as Kekenapep, who stabbed a youth to death, was lynched on Wednesday evening in Yenzo Epie community of Yenogwa, local government area of Bielsa state. The youth, identified as Douglas Joseph Tati, was a native of community and a father of three. One of the witnesses who spoke to Daily Paul said they were outside by a subject junction in Yenzo Epie when they noticed the argument between the Keke rider and Joseph. He said he was coming from Opolo community to Pansia, which was supposed to be under Naira, but the Keke rider insisted on collecting 150 Naira. As the Arako goes on, reacting to the incident, the Bielsa State Police Command said it has deployed its anti riot squad to restore normalcy at Francia and its evidence over the unfortunate murder of a community youth by a 
tricycle rider. To end the national news is the sports story. Chelsea legend Didier Drogba has told Red Hot Napoli forward Victor Osime not to consider a move to League One club Paris Saint Germain. The League One champions are among the clubs looking to sign Osime in this summer. PSG sporting director Luis Ort Campos had reportedly held talks with Osime's agent Roberto Calenda twice over a possible summer move. Drogba, who the Nigerian international regarded as his role model, has advised him not to join Paris based club. E. Osime is really in the sight of a club like PSG, the former Ivory Coast captain told Canal Plus as per United in Focus. It shows the full extent of his talent and the season he is having. But PSG is not the club he needs to continue his progress, says Drogba. Osime is also being quoted by Chelsea, Manchester United and Bayern Munich. The 24-year-old has scored 26 goals in 30 appearances across all competitions for Napoli this season. That's Sport Ends, the national news from BGI TV Currents this hour. Before we go, some major headlines. Idol Fitter, FG declares Friday, Monday public holidays. We brought before you FAAC allocation drops as FG states LG's share 715 billion naira. FEC OK's amendment of labor law separator and on sport. Drogba wants Osime against PSG move. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is BGI TV Current. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagide Imawit Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. For other placement of your goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen. Thank you for watching. I am. Morive Rabina Lawa. Good afternoon. Audio jump. Audio jump. Audio jump. Audio jump. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle